is my Dear Me tag. And I wanted to stop by and just talk to my younger self. I'm sure you've seen it trending here on YouTube, you've seen it on Google, um, you've seen it on Twitter, everybody's talking to their, their younger selves. And I have to so have something to say to my younger self as well. So, let's go back in time. You're already starting to have an idea of some things that does just, just doesn't make a lot of sense to you so it has brought along fear but fear not you're only five there's nothing gonna happen to you and you you just don't have to worry um, I because you have listened too much to adults conversation it has made your you aware of things that you probably shouldn't be aware of at five years old but yeah, you're going to be fine. As a matter of fact, you're going to be really successful when you get older. You're seven, you're in the second grade, and you're starting to kind of get a feel and try to make friends, but you start being bullied. And some of the kids don't like you. Um, some of the boys tease you. You even have some to say, don't step on the lines because if you do, you're going to marry Tamika. Guess what? Those same guys are going to wish that they would have married you. You're 12, you had a little boyfriend, and he broke up with you. So you kind of think it's the end of the world, your feelings are shattered, you don't want you don't know what to do next, you really don't feel like going to school, you really don't know, you know, what to do. But you're 12, you're in the seventh grade, it's time to start building your grades and getting your things together so that high school will be an easy breeze for you and then you can go on to college. Just focus on school, you're just 12. Tamika, you're 15, you're kind of like in an awkward stage, you are at a new school and you're still trying to make friends and trying to fit in and trying to figure out why you're so different, but you've already accepted Christ in your life, so that's one reason why you're different. You're set apart and you're just not like the other kids and every time you tell the other kids about Christ and how much you love going to church and they look at you crazy, those same kids are going to come back to you for prayer when you're an adult. Trust me on that. So you're 18 and you're head over heels in love with the guy who has just joined the military. And you plan to marry him and he proposed to you and you accept it and you're planning this big huge wedding. Well, let me tell you, you're not going to marry him. Actually, you're going to call the wedding off. You're going to break up with him and then you're going to move on with your life and you're going to go to college and you've got an amazing life and you are going to meet the most amazing man and you're going to marry him. Now, I will tell you, have fun. Don't be bogged down by trying to stay get in relationships and trying to be find happiness in a man because remember, Jesus is the only one that can fill every void in your life. Those are all the things to my my younger self I wanted to make it more fun and cheerful because I don't want to be up here crying and stuff because you know I can go a little deep you know especially when I had times in my life when I was bullied but I'm an adult now I've forgiven those things that I moved on and the main thing that I really want to tell my younger self is there's a lot of things that I worried about and stressed about that I really shouldn't have you know stressed about like that that shouldn't been a care for me for me at such a young age so that's all that I want to share with my younger self. So I want to tag all of you. I want all of you ladies to create a Dear Me tag. And I want you to get on YouTube and talk to your younger self. So let's make this happen. Dear Me tag. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous one.